three days after their most exhilarating performance of the season when they they thumped leaders Wolves 4-1, Aston Villa produced arguably their flattest. Maybe Derby victory should carry a health warning. Steve Bruce's team followed their win over bitter rivals Birmingham last month by immediately dropping five points. On Tuesday night it was as if both the home fans and the players turned up expecting to roll over struggling QPR and instead, they found themselves two down as full-back Jake Bidwell first set up a goal for Ryan Manning then scored himself. Aston Villa, Johnston, El Mohamedy, Chester, Terry, Neil Taylor, Davis 56, Jadinok, Snodgrass, Hurry Hahn, Bjarnason 81, Graylish, Adama, Graben, Hogan 67, subs not used, Lensbury, Bree, Anima, Bun goal scorers, Chester 88 booked, Graylish QPR, Smithies, Furlong, Onuoha, Lynch, Bidwell, Zalek, Perch 72, Luongo, Scowan, Manning, Cousins 74, Ez, Freeman 79, Smith subs not used, Washington, Ingram, Baptiste, Samuel goal scorers, Manning 12, Bidwell 33, Freeman 82 booked, Lynch, Bidwell referee, Tim Robinson a late strike by substitute Luke Freeman brought Rangers' biggest win of the season and did major damage to Villa's hopes of an automatic promotion place on a night when the top two both won. Credit should go to Rangers boss Ian Holloway who wasn't afraid to freshen up his team that beat Sunderland on Saturday with three changes, including bringing in 21-year-old Irish international Manning and he got his rewards. Holloway has not had an easy season while bringing three young players but his team have now beaten all of the divisions. Current top three, and also knocked Sheffield United off the summit earlier in the season. Rangers threatened even before they took the lead. Villa goalkeeper Sam Johnston made a smart low save from Matt Smith's low shot. But the warnings weren't heeded. With 12 minutes gone Bidwell whipped in a low cross from the left with so much power that when Manning got in front of John Terry to put his head on the ball it left Johnston stranded. Bruce needed his side to give a quick response. But Alex Smithies tipped over Albert Adama's curling shot and then Mile Jadinox flick from a Robert Snodgrass corner was just an inch in front of Terry. That should have lifted the crowd but instead QPR produced another superb build-up to increase their lead. Darnell Furlong and Manning worked some space together before Pavel Lech cut the ball back to where Bidwell arrived to strike a perfect low shot that took a slight deflection off Jadinox to give Johnston no chance. And though Alex Smithies did produce a brilliant save to keep out a grillish header just before halftime. Rangers always looked comfortable defending their lead. Bruce tried everything to change the pattern, sending on strikers Keenan Davis and Scott Hogan while switching to a back three. But it was a classic case of not being able to change gear after a bad start and too many passes went astray. Skipper Nejimonu Oha won pretty much everything in the air while Josh Scowan made sure home danger man Grealish got little room to do damage. And it was no more than the visitors deserved when with 82 minutes gone substitute Luke Freeman. Brought on a few minutes earlier for impressive youngster Everett Chies, worked himself some space on the edge of the box and planted a shot just inside Johnston's near post. That meant James Chester's goal was no more than a consolation, and scant consolation at that. 